Now, all things being equal, the ruling of Progressive Congress will hold its national convention later this month. And while all attention will be on the more seasoned politicians vying for leadership positions within the party, there's also a battle for leadership among younger politicians. My next guest is the 23-year-old youth activist and student, Abdullah Sidi Ali. He's declared his intention to run for the position of APC's national youth leader at the convention. He says he wants to inspire the Nigerian youth to make their country great. So what role do younger politicians and the leaders of tomorrow play within the party? And Abdullah Sidi Ali is still with me in the studio. So good to have you. Now, let, let's talk about what you think uh, you could make much better in the APC if given opportunity. And then how are you rallying other youths uh, in the party to actually ensure that you get the right votes that will make you the youth party leader? Okay, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity and having me on this um, great platform, Mr. Sambu. Um, number one, you know, in democracy, um, number one thing that uh, youths need is raise of voice. The, the voice is the most important and tangible issue in democracy. Number one in my, po in my political agendas is to make the all six political zones to know what they can penetrate and how they could use their voice to raise the voice in, or in a way of, in a democratic way and a legal way and a tangible way for them to establish a new government system of youths in politics. Now, my number one step is to, uh, as I told you, to make, to, to make a raise of voice within the youths of these yeah, all six yeah, political zones. that has zones. to start with your party. Yes, you have to come Convince your party members uh, yes, first. Uh, to oh, be able definitely, to elect you. definitely <laughs> yes. In my campaigns, that's what I've been telling the youths because I have followed the the legal process in order to establish my manifestos and policies and blueprint for the youths to know. So, uh, secondly, is to uh, show the point and to point out the historical root of the youths that have been participating in the government system of Nigeria. When you looked at Nigeria from the amalgamation of Nigeria in 1914 uh, under Lord Lugard, you will come to realize that th the youths at that time are the vocal people that participate 100% in establishing the amalgamation of Nigeria. If you take a look and see, you'll see that at that time we have chiefdom, kingdoms, and even empires. But in a result of democracy and a result of unification, all the youths on, uh, of Nigeria at that time engage yourself in politics so i want to nigerian youth to know that we have no limit and we have many capacities and various ability to participate not only in apc in the whole nigeria and the system government of nigeria okay very interesting indeed and then you've got um, lots of um, older men who are still in politics mm. and a lot of young people complaining that you need lots of monies to be able to win elections how are you going to uh, uh pass through all those challenges i mean have you got so much money to be able to buy uh, uh, delegates like uh, senior politicians and older ones do um uh, uh, definitely um subsequently i'm not going to buy any votes i'm going to use the legal way as the party has approved you know when you are talking about elderly state man you are talking about a person who is who have engaged himself in articulating a policy of solving the nigeria so i will follow the legal way that the elderly people have already posted in the country and in the constitution of the apc of uh, uh, that was amended in 2014. i will use via the constitution i will i will follow all process that are legally to establish my manifesto. Yeah, but what do you make of some other youth who would accuse you of just speaking uh, big, big grammar and all uh, of that? It's no matter. And, and they will actually grammar. tell you <laughs> that, look, for you to be able to win elections, you need to convince delegates, mm. and in convincing delegates, mm. you need to spend lots of money mm. here and there. Mm. What exactly do you hope to do to change their orientation, to ensure that mm. a youth leader that will serve the interests of the people mm. is voted, who doesn't use money to influence uh, people? Number one, dedication. Number two, as I told you, raise of voice. Number three, hard working in my campaigns, going to there and there, talk to people uh, to gain political understanding so that I can establish my manifesto. Number three, I will use uh, prayer. And number five, I will use the process that the party has already established, buying from tax clearance for me to go to the convention ground and I will source, I will source for the vote there in the convention ground after which I've already did before. Now, let's find out what the critical role of uh, the APC National Youth Leader is. I mean, you see lots of political parties having the position of National Youth Leader. Mm. At the end of the day, when they are voted, you, you just see them going mute. I mean, lots of party members are, are angry at the moment, for example, on why the APC seems to be looking like it's going to shift its convention. And you want to, want to wonder where the APC National Youth Leader is. Um, uh, on such issues? Um, uh, APC National Youth Leader 
uh, as you told, as you asked me just now, you know, um, APC National Youth Leader have three capacities. He is, uh, he, he is responsible to mobilize the youth, and he is uh, responsible to create a strategic ideas that could help the party. And he has done his assignment according to the uh, working international work, sorry, national coaching committee and the executive working committee. So if you are a youth leader, you have to be vocal. You have to be vibrant and you must ginger the youths that are seeing you as a mentor. As a youth leader, I will try all my best, if I'm the youth leader, to use my capacity and ability to help the party because it's a matter of politics. It's not a matter of giving someone money or collecting money. It's a matter of politics. Sitting with people who are politically engaged, put your own idea, put your own manifesto, show them the right point to follow, and I will use all the professional youths in the party to endorse them and to, uh, to, to, uh, to motivate them to come with their own ideas on table for us to establish a, 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 an unremarkable, unremarkable uh, uh, ideas that will help the party uh, and will okay. help the youth in Nigeria. Very, very, very interesting indeed. Mm -hmm. And there was this um, la youth lobby that was led by the APC, interim APC National Youth yes. Leader to President Muhammad Buhari yeah. where they went to meet with him mm. and they gave him some ideas and mm. President Buhari has directed that all the opportunities that are available for young people to mm. be brought into government mm. boards, parastatals mm. and all of that, mm. that should be given a choice. Don't you think that is coming too late at the exit point of Mr. President's second term. In government, there is not anything lit. It's a matter of engineering and strategizing and even bringing equality. So it is not lit because if you take a look and see, you'll see there is a, even a president, Abu Ironsi, who lasted for 100 days in office. He lasted for 104 days in office. And many people have already engaged in uh, making un 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 uh, unitary system of government, making states, establishing state. So there is not anything like lit. There is not anything like lit. Once you have the ability to participate, you can participate even it's one day. Even if it's a All right, just it's just before we go, do you uh, believe that the APC National Convention will hold on February 26th? Inshallah, we, we do believe. We, I do. I definitely believe that is going to take on. I definitely believe. Even when you haven't purchased the form at this I, moment, I, I, I have <laughs> you. Uh, there's uh, there's remaining a week afterwards. The whole next week is the journey to the party. Uh, sorry for the, to the convention. So uh, we are not rushing. Okay. Just wait for well, it, Mr. Sambu. <laughs> we can only wish you well, Abdullah. Uh, uh, thank you very much, as Mr. You campaign Sambu. to become the APC uh, national Inshallah, by the grace of God. Well, that's how it's been for this edition of the Arise interview. Do join us again next week from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm Sumna Sambu.